Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study why concurrency control is needed when concurrent transactions execute. Transaction processing systems are systems with large databases and hundreds of concurrent users that are executing database transactions. Examples of such systems include systems for reservations, banking, credit card processing, stock market, supermarket checkouts, and other similar systems. Several problems can occur when concurrent transactions execute in an uncontrolled manner. Suppose there are two transactions T1 and T2. Now we discuss the types of problems we may encounter when these two transactions run concurrently. The first type of problem is the lost update problem. This problem occurs when two transactions that access the database items have their operations interleaved in such a way that makes uh, the value of some database items incorrect. It will be clear after this example. Suppose x is a data item with value 100 and the transaction t1 has to subtract 5 from x and transaction t2 has to add 4 to x. So in this way the final value of uh, x should be 99. Now suppose uh, the operations of T1 and T2 are interleaved in uh, the fashion as uh, shown in this diagram. Then the final value of X will be incorrect. Now let us see the schedule as uh, it is shown in this uh, diagram or uh, in, as it is shown in this table. First the transaction T1 reads the item X from database. So transaction T1 uh, when reads the item X from database, the value of uh, X which is read by T1 is 100. Now T1 subtracts 5 from X. So now the value of X has become 95. Now the transaction T1 till now has not uh, written this uh, new value 95 of uh, X in database. After that, after T1 has subtracted 5 from X. After that, transaction T2 will read the item X from database. So, transaction T2 will read the value 100 for item X. Then, the transaction T2 will add 4 to X. So, now the value of X has become 104. After that, transaction T1 write the value of item x in database so the value of item x written by transaction t1 is 95 after that transaction t1 reads a new item y from database and after this transaction t2 write the changed value of x in database so at this point uh, the value of x is 104 so the transaction T2 has written the value 104 for data item X. So what happens the final value of item X which is uh, written in database is 104 and it is incorrect because the value of X should be 99. This problem occurs because the T2 reads the, the value of X before T1 changes it in the database. Hence, the value which is uh, updated by transaction T1 is lost. Now, the second type of problem which can occur is temporary update or dirty read problem. This problem occurs when one transaction updates a database item and then the transaction fails for some reason. The updated item is accessed by another transaction before it is changed back to its original value. The value of updated item which is accessed by another transaction before it is changed back to its original value is called dirty data. Now the third type of problem which can occur is incorrect summary problem. This problem occurs when one transaction is calculating an aggregate summary function on a number of records while other transactions are updating some of these records and the aggregate function may calculate some values before they are updated and others after they are updated. 
So 